the Joe Rogan experience. <laughs> now, what about fat? Like, yeah. I would think that you would need fat. Well, yeah, you do, and that's that's why you eat the whole animal. You know, suck the brain out of the rabbit. Try to get every bit of fat you can get. And I I learned a lot about that out there because, uh, I mean, I caught a lot of rabbits and squirrels early on, but I still just lost weight as fast as if I wasn't eating. It felt like yeah, you that know what said, rabbit it, starvation is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I was when I went out there. I was like, I wonder how long that takes. Is that like a year? But right. basically, it's as soon as you start eating rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> but there's no fat. On yeah, that. not much on them. It was like maybe enough to make up for the energy I was expending by running around. Like, mm-hmm. I don't think I lost fat. Their weight faster than someone that was just sitting there. It was probably about the same. Right. But I was able to run around, have fun, you know, shoot my bow and like learn my land, see how animals were moving and stuff. So you didn't have any supplies that you initially set out with right, in terms right. of like no food, no food. Yeah, yeah. yeah the, it's it's a fascinating experience when that helicopter drops you off, flies away, and you're you've never scouted this place before. You didn't get to choose where you're at. Wow! And it just flies away, and you're just like, wow. Somehow I have to. Did live they scout here. it? Yeah, they did. They so they knew that there was wild animals there. Yeah, they scout out and basically try to find ten spots that have some form of potential sustainability on them, you know, and then you got to try to unlock the key, you know. (laughs) Did you have any filtration system for water? No, I started by boiling all my water, but then I just slowly drank bits of raw water until I could pretty much just drink raw water because it's, I was, it was a big old lake up in the far north. It's like, there's pretty clean. So, yeah. And I didn't get sick, but. I drank mm -hmm. out of a lake once off of, uh, in, um, uh, Prince of Wales oh, in yeah. Alaska. Uh-huh. Apparently, it's high enough altitude so there's no beavers. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. Was, it was still weird just dipping your <laughs> canteen in a lake, just drinking. It's yeah. strange. That's what we had done in Siberia, too. And it's always, even in like moss puddles, it's like this yellow water, but they'll just dip right in and drink wow. out. So Now, when you said you drank a little bit, that was to test to see yeah, if you'd get Yeah, just to see if shits. I'd get mildly sick rather yes. than chugging it to begin with. Right. But, yeah. So you boiled it at first and then started sipping it a little bit and then eventually just were drinking it. Yeah, although another thing in the far in the cold when you're trying to conserve calories like that, you uh don't want to drink a lot of cold water, so I'd heat it anyway. Mm. So Oh, that makes sense. So, yeah, yeah. And what did you do for shelter? Uh they a tarp was one of the things we took, so I built a little like A-frame shelter just out of logs, covered it, like chinked it with moss, mm-hmm. put the frame over. I spent less time on shelter, more time like procuring food and hunting so mm. it was a quick shelter threw it up i knew for, i mean i've lived in a teepee in that weather so i like knew i was going to be fine on the cold as long as i could provide enough calories to keep my body warm <laughs> so how many days did it take you before you got an animal uh well i got a rabbit on day one so oh, that okay. was nice and then i continued to get rabbits but it was 23 days when i got a moose so that was well, then you're that good. Was, then you're right? good, kind of. That's yeah, like yeah, yeah. eight months of eating. Yeah. I mean, again, I was amazed how much fat you eat. You know, like, yeah. yeah. So you, I was I was counting my moose and being like, hmm, not, <laughs> this isn't like an infinite supply of food here. You know, because eat, there's not enough fat. Yeah, because yeah. you're definitely eating more fat than you are protein. Yeah. So, but plus I had a wolverine come and pillage my stores of fat and stuff. So I, Yeah, I heard about this. Yeah, so yeah. how did that happen? What? Where did you store everything? Well, it was initially, I didn't, to be honest, I didn't expect to see a wolverine. I never have, and I just wasn't something on my consciousness. And so when I got the moose, I put all the meat up on this shelf I built and thought, man, if a bear comes, it'll be great. I'll have a chance at a bear. You know, I'll wake up in the night and kind of be like a bait pile, basically. Plenty of fat. Yeah, yeah. And so I was maybe expecting a bear to come, but I went to sleep. The first night I got the moose and woke up and I came out and there were just tracks everywhere. Somehow I hadn't woken up, but Wolverine's a lot slyer animal and he had come and pulled out all the kidney fat. You know, I had like a jug oh, of kidney no. fat that I was just like, no. He and ate all your fat? He hauled off a, a full gallon jug packed with kidney fat. I had other fat, but that was like, you know, weeks of fat there. Did I you was, find it? No, uh, it was it was rough. And so then... He was pretty excited, I'm sure. <laughs> so that Wolverine just kept know. coming back every day. I figured, I don't know if they're like, 
I figured they were nocturnal, but they sure enough, I'd be like out there scraping my moose hide in the middle of the day. He'd come running up and like try to grab some meat and run off. I was like, holy smokes, this thing's bold. Is this a photo of him? Yeah, that's the one. Where that's, is he? That's at my shelter there. Er, that's off the show. There he is, sneaking around. The uh, <laughs> but, Wow. Oh, yeah, so he stole 35,000 calories, which is gold up there. Oh, so you got some serious gear on. You're wearing Kuyu. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you yeah, got yeah. real uh, Real gear. Real yeah, you're not, it's not naked and afraid, fortunately. Yeah. No, well, that's that's serious uh, hunting gear you're yeah, wearing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and there's your, your A-pillar frame. Yeah, there's that's pretty that little. That's dope. Is that when you pissed off that the moose fat? Yeah. That, yeah A yeah. gallon of moose fat, <laughs> moose fat contains roughly 35,000 calories. Wow, gone. Gone. Cunty like, oh, little man. Wolverine. You should have yeah. kept that shit in the little tent with you. Yeah, I sh- really should have. I thought I would hear a bear coming, but I didn't think mm. that Wolverine. Then the... Uh, Anyway, he kept coming every day, and I knew yeah, I knew it was going to be me or him kind of on that island. <laughs> so, so They're such like, scary little fucks. I heard, I read, maybe you, Jamie could find it, but that uh, one killed a polar bear in the uh, zoo a while ago. A wolverine? Yeah, yeah. I'm not shocked. Ferocious little things. I've yeah. seen them chase off bears. Yeah. I've seen oh, they videos will. of them mm-hmm. chasing bears mm-hmm. off of kills. Wolves, all bears that. Bears like, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> They're just <laughs> so ferocious. Thing. Yeah. And they're so durable. Like, yeah. they get bit by bears and wolves, and they just fucking shake it off. Yeah, cool so, animals, for real. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah man. Such cool it's animals. A, it's just a weird animal, right? It They're is. They're so ferocious. Yeah, yeah. And small. Yeah, you know? <laughs> just making it on attitude yeah, out there. Yeah, just fucking anger and fighting. <laughs> <laughs> Little muscle ball. Like when Did I, you eat him? Yeah, of course, if you shoot a wolf, or, you know, I was actually killed it with my axe, but when... You do that, you've got to eat the heart out of it. So I cut it open, mm. ate the heart. <laughs> then I ate wow. a drumstick, of course, but it tasted like skunk. So I was like, I'll save the rest for a Hold rainy on. day. How do you know what skunk tastes like? <laughs> have you eaten skunk? Just smelled them. I was assuming. <laughs> oh, okay. No, they have a musky flavor to oh, them. Oh, I'm sure. So, yeah, Fucking yeah. gross animal. Yeah. Ma- imagine how much testosterone those little fucks yeah, must they're have. Yeah, coursing through they're their so veins. They're so ferocious. <laughs> oh. So you, uh, you ate his drumstick and that's it? The rest and of the, in, yeah, and the organs for the vitamins. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Did you try to use the rest of them for bait for something? No, I was just saving it for eating later. You know, mm. like I put it up on Worst my case storage scenario. cache. Yeah, when a dark day, I'll eat yeah. that. Yeah. And you run out of moose if it yeah. really does go a year. Yeah, exactly. So when you didn't have the fat, like what was it like just eating? Did you have some fat left Oh, yeah, over? you still have a lot. I mean, to be fair, there's still a lot of fat on a moose. Like mm-hmm. there was uh, all the ribs, you know, the, mm-hmm. the butt, the rump has a big old thick layer of fat you got the it's a weird the, fat, ma- the right? bone marrow is really, oh okay yeah that's all straight fat the brain you know there's like mm-hmm. there's a lot of fat still but that was kind of the easiest fat you know mm. anyway yeah, yeah yeah it was it was sad but not the end of the world it was only it was mostly depressing in that i figured somebody else got something big and once I lose that, now I'm at a disadvantage again. So then it put the fire under me to keep getting more, you know? <laughs> so you killed him with an axe, but you shot him with a bow first, right? Yeah, the Wolverine, yeah. So yeah. what did you, 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 like, you pinned him to the ground with the bow? Yeah, it was, he had come the night before, and I had seen him behind a bush, and, I, you know, I had my flashlight, and I could see his eyes. And I thought about firing an arrow in there, but I was like, oh, surely he's going to come out and I'll get a better shot. But he must, he, like, Closed his eyes, snuck away, and I never saw him leave from behind the bush. I was like, dang it, I missed my opportunity. The next day, I saw him again the next night coming down through some shrubs. And uh, I had, like, set up some warning systems around, like, cans on string. So I'd hear him coming, and I heard, like, clank, clank, clank. I was like, oh, gosh, I got my bow, went outside. Sure enough, he, like, scurried down this hill, went behind a bush, and I just sent my arrow in there this time. Through the bush. Through the bush. And so I don't know what it did going through there, but it deflected deflected, branches. Yeah, pinned his leg, his back leg to the ground. The, like, top of the arrow was in the branches. And it just gave me enough time to grab my axe, run over there. He was just like, <sighs> you know. Is that him? Is. No, no, no. No, no yeah. That's it's just a good video one. one. Yeah, Those little guys. One. Dude, you must have been so fucking terrified to I run was, up that it, thing, it even with an axe. It happened so fast. It, and yeah, it wasn't a cool, like, you picture me, like, killing it, like, really. Rah, but it was like. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> yeah. Dude. No, it was. It was Did intense. you film all that, too? Yeah, but it was at night, so it's kind of grainy. <laughs>